La transformation de nos modèles agricoles est un enjeu crucial pour le climat et la biodiversité. L'agriculture est aujourd'hui l'une des activités les plus destructrices des écosystèmes, et en premier lieu des forêts. Elle est responsable de 25% des émissions mondiales de gaz à effet de serre. Cette volonté farouche d'inventer d'autres façons de cultiver et de vivre, David Holmgren la porte depuis 40 ans. Écologiste enthousiaste de la première heure, il a été l'un des inventeurs du concept révolutionnaire de permaculture en 1978. A design system for both sustainable land use in the form of gardening, agriculture, forestry, aquaculture, animal husbandry, buildings, our water supply systems, energy, security, financial organization, health, aging and disability. So all of the, the big difficult questions that we have to deal with if we are going to look after ourselves and minimize our footprint uh, on the planet. We've already done an earlier olive harvesting for oil. Branches then will be fed to the goats this evening. And of course the large bits of wood are firewood. So all part of an integrated Uh, permaculture system. From the beginning in permaculture, we saw that the modern world actually carried with it a lot of false ways of doing things. The idea that everything has to get big. Everything is best organized by having everything separate so it doesn't conflict. That's the opposite of two permaculture principles. Firstly, slow and small solutions. And secondly, that we integrate things rather than segregate things. In the same way that in nature, plants and animals and all of the site are part of the integration that becomes an ecosystem. My latest work, Retro Suburbia, is focused on how people can live more resilient and empowered lives in the existing settlements we already have. And especially in countries like Australia, where the vast majority of people live in low density residential housing, whether it's around our great capital cities or it's in small towns, this detached housing pattern, although it is being seen as very inefficient in terms of transport, it has the potential to be adapted in the post-fossil fuel era and re-ruralised to become incredibly agriculturally productive landscapes and yet have a, a density of population for critical economic and social interaction. Avec ce concept de rétro suburbia, David Holmgren propose une nouvelle façon d'organiser la société de façon résiliente, locale, collective de transformer les petites villes et zones pavillonnaires en oasis. Non loin de chez lui, à Hepburn Springs, Meg et Patrick ont quitté le système bancaire, les cartes de crédit, le consumérisme, pour vivre selon cette philosophie de sobriété heureuse. This is one of our most significant banks. We have wood storage For, to last us at least three to four months of the year. When you think about wood energy as a renewable resource, it makes you more aware of the environment and the ecology. It's the same with catching water in our rain tanks. When we have only the water that we have for the year, then we're really very precise in how much we use. We're much more water conserving. If you have a relationship to your food, relationship to your energy, relationship to your water, then you just develop the, the knowledges in order to keep them flowing into the house when you need them. All of this is our production. Um, in the autumn time, Patrick is very busy filling our wood stack 
and I am very busy filling our cellar. Roughly, we use about two bottles like this of passata, which is our pureed tomato. We use two of these a week, which means of the 52 weeks in a year, so that's 104 of these. So that's what I budget for, for creating 104 of those every autumn to store for the winter. We talk about it in terms of community sufficiency because, yes, we're on a quarter acre and we can grow a lot of food, but to do it in community, that feels much more um, vital and it feels much more secure. Having produce here to send across the road to share with neighbours, here's a dozen eggs, here's a jar of our honey, here's some of our local um, homemade wine or whatever it is, then it really starts um, just in terms of generosity. Generosity is contagious. Well, that's been some of the inspiration for me and Sue too mm. in what you guys have, have done here, all of those things about the community connection. I'd never heard of permaculture. We both had full-time jobs. I was working online and Patrick was working as a builder. We both had a car, we were shopping at supermarkets. And I like yeah. to point out to people that I, I didn't have any practical skills when I moved here. We've given up um, yeah, car travel, we've given up supermarkets, we've given up air travel, we share a mobile phone. For us, security is our seed bank, our cellar, and our wood stack mm. and our skills and knowledges. We're just on the soil and living from the earth, just like all animals, just like well, all mammals, a lot of creatures, and just that sort of downshifting to reality of that we're not up here, we're mm. actually down here with everybody else, mm. with everything else. But then to come through into the new story, you start to build a new culture. Créer une nouvelle culture dans un monde obsédé par l'économie, c'est aussi inventer une nouvelle économie. L'objectif, c'est de passer d'une économie prédatrice, destructrice, à une économie régénératrice. Ce monde nouveau, c'est à nous de l'amorcer. Et c'est maintenant.